importance of change is our next uh, subheading importance of change. We have looked at the definition and uh, we looked at types of change. They want to see of what importance is change. Why do you think we need change? The benefits of change, change rationale. So, one of the importance of change, uh, without wasting time, is that uh, it leads to adoption of new technology. It leads to adoption of new technology, which increases productivity and service delivery. As we said, change involves technology, involves bringing something in a different way, bring out completely different form. You cannot change when you don't have, when you're not supported by technology. Because I, as you are changing form, you need help. As you are changing your garden, you need help. As you are changing the shape or the size of the product, you need help. As I said, as you are producing your Coca-Cola, you need help. As you are changing the shape of the bottle, you need help. So that's why we cannot do without technology. We have to adopt, te uh, to adopt technology. And after adopting technology, we shall be able to produce a greater output. A greater output. So, uh, one of the important is that it enables us to adopt the use of technology which in the end will enable us to produce greater output, which will also uh, improve on our service delivery. As we said, when you are supplying, you need technology, you need machines, you need cars. When you are producing, you need the machinery, you need the, uh, this and that as far as technology is concerned. When you are labeling, you need machines. When you are loading and offloading, you need machines. So at the end of it all, we shall realize that there is improved service delivery, uh, which is important as far as the business is concerned, because we know customers will, uh, will always uh, want to be served, uh, will always want to be served or to be provided with services uh, in a better, unique and timely uh, manner. So another point is it responds to customers' needs by providing good, uh, new goods. Like when you talk transformation change, when you see that these goods uh, have become old uh, before the customers or in the eyes of the customers, you transform a bit, uh, you, uh, you, 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 you move with the transition after understanding what you, need trans uh, uh, what you need to be with in transition stage, then you transform. And when you transform your product, it looks new in the eyes of the customer. They come running because the demand will be high. And of course, th this is what you want as an entrepreneur, as you expect to sell more, which will in turn uh, reward you with him uh, with much profit. So it leads to uh, it leads to response to customers' needs uh, by providing new goods or uh, services. Then it leads to growth opportunities by allowing employees to learn new skills and exercising their creativity, which increases their commitment. As we said, changing is giving a complete, a complete form of appearance of a product, which is done by people, by workers. So employees here will be able, employees here will be able to gain, uh, to gain opportunities. And these opportunities will be in form of getting more skills. As you are in production, you, I told you, you cannot do without change. Don't be static. As you see that this person is handling something better than you do, then you change yourself. You learn from him and change. If you see that the other company is packaging its products better than you do, then you learn the skills. You learn how does he do it. And then you copy, you change. If you see that this company is doing uh, marketing activities, is carrying out marketing activities in a better way, then you learn and change to those better ways. That's why we said these, uh, um, uh, these employees 
we have to learn from each other and change methodologies, which in turn will increase their uh, commitment because they'll be creative. As you are learning, you change. As you are changing, you are creative. As you are improving on your skills, you are innovative. So in change, we cannot say uh, that everybody's perfect. That's why we said that change in companies and organizations, change is inevitable. We may not do without change. So next point is in, it leads to acquisition of new ideas and innovations as I've, as I've said. When you are in an enterprise, you are working, you are changing here and there. You are learning. That is on job training. When you see that this is supposed to be done like this, this is how customers need uh, our, uh, uh, our product to look like, then you change here and there. That's why we are saying it leads to acquisition of new ideas in, uh, and the innovations. So change will make you be creative and be innovative anyway if you want to do what to change eh? but in one of the subjects they said if change if you uh, if you resist to change if you fail to change change itself does what changes you that is one of the subjects but not empty for us we're looking at coming out with new uh, ideas new innovations uh, creative abilities when it comes to change. And why are you doing this? Because you are copying from uh, uh, other people. So, it leads to increased efficiency, especially with adoption of new technology. When you adopt new technology, you produce more. There is efficiency in the production, efficiency in handling work, efficiency in doing any job as far as the production process is concerned. When you use technology, uh, you become efficient. As I told you, uh, there's what we call capital intensive technology where the job that is supposed to be done by 10 people is done by one person. And why do you think it's done by one person? Because there is efficiency. There is uh, the greater output. You cultivate two acres of land in two weeks because you are, 20, uh, you are 10 people. But when you bring a tractor, it does it, it plows it within a day. And it means when it comes to production, you will produce a great output. So we say there is efficiency in the production because of adopting uh, technology. Then, uh, lastly but not least, we are looking at it. Uh, uh, we are looking at another advantage. Uh, there, is a, there is the one we skipped. Yes, it determines the direction of the economy. It determines the direction of uh, the economy. How? How? So when the economy is moving in this direction and it sees that it is moving in a bad or poor or inappropriate uh, direction, it changes to a better one. Like how our government of Uganda had messed up with, the, with, with, with teachers. Eh? You pay a doctor millions of money, but the one who teaches a doctor is not paid millions of money. That was a poor direction. A scientist who is teaching an engineer, a lecturer at university who is teaching an engineer to become an engineer is underlooked, but an engineer who was taught by an, a scientist is not thought about. So it realized it and it changed it to that direction. Now teachers who are teaching sciences are happy why their money was increased. That is the direction we are talking about, uh, the, the, the direction of the economy. So now you will find out that it, the work done is now better. People have put in more effort see, to deliver. And at the end of it, all the economy will benefit. So, now lastly, it helps in changing the status quo. It brings new ways of looking at customers' needs. Faster production and better quality services. You need to understand, in which status should I be? Should I be a business that is regarded as a business producing poor quality, that mistreats customers, that underlooks customers, that uh, does not produce faster, uh, that does not cut out faster production, that for it uh, the gestation period is long. No. So it, it checks you and you automatically understand where you need to be. So these are some of the importance of change as one of our subtopics as far as our topic introduction to entrepreneurship is concerned.